you want to know how to tell the difference in gender of your Buff Orpington chicks? Buff Orpington chicks at a day old all look alike. They're all the same feather color. They're all that nice golden color and so you're not going to be able to look at them and say, oh, this is a male, this is a female based off of their feathering. The same goes for their wings. In my experience, wing sexing on a Buff Orpington chick just isn't accurate based off of different methods I've tried and looked at the results after wing sexing and it just didn't match up to what the length of their feathers were saying was a male versus a female. So I don't rely on those methods. The only true way of telling what a Buff Orpington chick's gender is, is either vent sexing them at a day of age, which can give you fairly accurate results, but it's best left to be done by professionals or someone who's been trained by a professional on how to do that. That's not something that I do. I wait until my chicks are about eight weeks of age, like these chicks here, and then I look at their comb color and the development of their wattles and combs to determine which one is a cockerel, which is a young male chick, and which one is a pullet, which is a young female chick. A young female chick, a pullet like this one, she is eight weeks old and you'll see her comb, which is this part right here, is very small and it's more of a yellow color with a light pink undertone. So that is how I know that this is a female. Also, if you look underneath, under her beak here, her wattles, they're not developed. And they're also a very light pink color. There's a little bit of redness starting, but with the lack of development, that tells me that this here is a female Buff Orpington chick. Because I'll show you the difference. When you look at a male eight week old Buff Orpington <laughs> cockerel, there's a big difference. And I've got plenty of them to show you behind me. <laughs> so if you look at the difference, between the combs and the wattles of these two chicks. You see the large comb on this chick here on my right, which has the redness, and then the large developed wattles underneath with the red color? That's a male chick. So at eight weeks old, we can tell the difference between these two. So I like to wait till eight weeks of age to say, okay, I have this many females and this many males. So now you know, Buff Warpingtons, wait till eight weeks of age and then you can tell the gender of your chicks. And to know for absolute certainty, you'll have to wait till laying age, which is usually around 19, 20 weeks, sometimes a little bit older for Buff Warpington chicks. And then you'll know for sure that you've got a laying hen. <laughs> If you'd like to see more videos about chicks, you should definitely check out our chick care playlist. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now you're learning to farm like me. There is so much more to see. If you're planning on heading elsewhere, Bangi Yui, yeah, yeah, yeah. This really is the place to be.